What is up guys, it is Josh, and today, instead of playing Rust, I decided to play the Cullen. Because I'm just going to explain what's going to happen in my videos, and just in the future of what's going to happen on my channel. So, um, I'm planning on playing a lot more Rust, it's just I was not able to get any more content for Rust and um, at the moment. And I got a bunch of ideas for videos, so I was just like, you know what, let's just pop on the Cullen, since that's just some um, game that I, don't, I haven't really seen much gameplay on. And it looks like a really, really fun game. I have it. I've been having it for a while now. I used to put my friend, it, my friend, and um, so yeah. Let's just wait for this queue to start, and um, we'll pop it on in some uh, Cullen. This game is extremely fun. If you haven't heard of it, it's a basically a Hunger Games type game. And what you do is you start off in a little pod, and you have to gather resources, gather supplies, get weapons, and become the last guy standing. There's team deathmatch. Solo and a bunch of other game modes that I have not played yet because I haven't played this game in about like five to six months So it's been updated since I've played and um, Yeah, so if we pop onto the loadout as you can see here, they have melee weapons uh, Health stamina. These are all perks that you can get and so I, I haven't had many perks on my account that because I've only played for a little bit I have um, old painless big boned and uh, leg day. These are all movement type things you can get airdrop um, Different types of air and uh, what I got, what I usually use is the archer because the ar that bow is actually really amazing and kind of a fun bow to use. But uh, here, let me um, actually equip some perks because I'm gonna need them in the game. Let's see, utility. I'm going to get this one that you get the tracker. I need to get the tracker for my round. But yeah, basically everybody kills each other. It's kind of like a Hunger Games. It's kind of fun. If you, if you haven't played this game yet, uh, you should probably try it out. It's an extremely fun game. It's pretty cheap right now. So let's see. Backpack. I need a backpack to start off with. Uh, arrives instantly, you know. Still got some time till the match starts, so let's see. Oh, I like the regenerator. And, um. I'm trying to find the, um, cool thing that I was gonna use. The, get this thing that I was trying to use, it's like this tracker, it just tracks people to find out where they are, and, oh, man tracker, there it is, so those are the perks that I picked, um, backpacker and the man tracker, uh, uh, the regenerator is basically, it recovers one health every five seconds, man tracker, you start with the man tracker, so you can track people down and figure out where they are, the backpack is, uh, you start off with a backpack in your inventory, you don't have to make one. Basically, you can craft backpacks in this game. Um, so you, yeah, you can craft backpacks in this game, which is really cool. You, basically, it's a lot of crafting. It's a lot of crafting, a lot of making different things. So let's get started. Start off in this pod. Until the match starts. Still got three minutes until match starts. We can get this pod from the now. Oh, there it is. That was a quick uh, deal. So basically what you start off with is, I start off with the man tracker. That's the best thing to start off with when you're soloing because you could find people. So you basically what you do is you turn it on. Got a person ahead of me. Turn it off. I got fists to fight with. And uh, at the start of this game. You could push people off, off mountains and stuff. They're on clips. By, by pressing Q. Or something. And basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to collect funk, which is that small indicator at the bottom that says 12 on the bottom left screen. Um, that's funk, and basically what funk does is it buys things for you. you can, that's how you get crafting points. I see two people over there. Your enemy just got shanked! I'm about to find something. Alright, there's a uh, machine. Oh crap, I'm getting hit, I'm getting hit. Oh no. I'm bleeding. Go to a fist fight! Pick that up, pick that up! Oh, this isn't gonna go well for me. This is not going well. Uh, I got murdered. Play another game real quick. It's just to um, really talk about things here. Let's see. I've never tried half a lot of these things. I got practice closed. 
All they had back then was just teams and a uh, free for all that I'd play. Teams is pretty fun. I'd play with my friend. It's just two, you and your other friend. It's two people. But usually I just play free for all. Don't know what that means up here. The zero thing up here, but whatever it means, I have no clue. But it says that you win. You win that stuff for each game that you win. So yeah, these are my perks. Take a look at my my outfit. I'm just a naked dude right now. Let's see, we got. I look kind of cool. <laughs> it's like a soccer hair hairstyle. Oh yeah, rocking it right there. I gotta get that. No, 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 no. Under that. Let's see. I just look weird. I'm just gonna go with balding. Balding looks better anyway. From these type of guys. Kinda looks like the rust type outfit. I mean, the rust type hair. I mean, not hair, what I'm talking about. Rust is your bald and rust. Baseball cap. See, I don't have any items unlocked right now. Oh, the match. Hopefully, I spawn somewhere good this time. Because I keep getting murdered. There's some people over here. I don't want to go over there then, right at the moment. See, so, yeah, I gotta. If I could find like a something to pick up and use it as a weapon, to start off with. Usually, I've cracked myself a bow because that's the smartest thing to do. But usually, I play with a friend. But today, I don't have my friend on to play. But all right, actually, I think I found something on the floor. That can give me something. This red thing over here. I don't know what this is, but it is a funk. It's funk. Uh, you get funk for that, so I have 17 funk now. You can use that to craft. It's funk's just basically anything that's pretty much nasty. It's kind of weird. But, yeah, let's run over here. Let's see what's going on. And the ring does start to close, so. Eventually. It's kind of like Battle Royale and Rust, a little bit, but not really. There's a lot more things you can do in this game than you can't. You can't do in Rust, but I thought I'd give this game a try to put it on YouTube. That guy's that's a head of somebody. Thought I'd put this on YouTube up there. Shows where the people that have died up there. It shows their their face and their name. It's kind of cool. It's just like Hunger Games, basically. It's probably a copy of that, pretty much. But it's a really cool game idea. I mean, it's a really cool idea of a game. Here's some fun. I'm trying to collect as much as I can. I think I'm craft. I forgot the crafting button. I think it's like. Oh, there it is. It's escape. Basically, you don't have a crafting menu. You just pick up items and. Oh, there's an item. There's a branch. So then I can craft. If I find another branch, I can craft something else. So let's see. If I find a rock, I can craft something. So I can craft a. Oh wait, I don't want to craft that. That's um a trap if you want to have traps. But there's an item crate that can give me a weapon. Oh yes, tier two. There's different tiers to weapons. A contestant I have just a tier two sword. Another contestant with an axe. Let's see. So I'm gonna see so what I can build. All right, that's the same thing. If I find another stick, I can build something. Let's see. Bandage. Let's see what the crafting items are. So to craft a spear, you have to have a knife, and knife is two rocks, so pick up a rock, get a rock, another rock, I like the crafting animation, it's pretty cool, alright, so now I have a little bow knife deal, rock knife, whatever you want to call it, yes, I can, now I can make a spear if I get a branch, so it's pretty cool animation for this too, basically sharpen it, I got a spear now, and to make a Someone bow, just took a whole lot of fist. what to you want to do, Enemy down! Get a spear and a looks like a branch. So any other branch. It's a little hard to figure out what each item is, but once you figure it out, it's pretty it's a pretty cool game. Let's see, I gotta find this branch over here. I think I found I thought I heard somebody. Let's pull up the man tracker, see what's going on. To be standing still. Oh, no, you don't okay. Um Somebody's Somebody over here, dead. so nice we don't have many kill. people around us. That's good. That's good for the beginning. I gotta get to a town so I can make some stuff. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. All right, jump the bow. That's good. This is a good start. Got myself a bow. 
Don't want to waste all my arrows. How do you make arrows? Let's see. Arrows. So you can make gas grenades and smoke bombs, which is pretty cool. But you can also make armor. Um, let's see. You can make a snare for like catching people. A hatchet. Never. Uh, some of these things I've never heard of. Cause I haven't played much. Your but. opponent just put someone's eye out with an arrow. You need to get a branch to make some more arrows. You can be holding your bow out. That's what you get when you do that. That's just a rock. Okay. It basically shows you what you can craft in the uh, menu. But um, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna try to find something. Found myself a branch. Some more arrows for me. Five farms to cost to craft more arrows. So I'm an arrow. I hear somebody. See if we can get a kill. It's a little bit of a hard game to get some kills, but let's see if I can find this guy. Oh, I'm getting a little closer. This guy's gonna be in this town right here. Let's see if we can find him. Hunt him down. Oh, I see him. Ready? He doesn't Whoa, see me. Enemy down. Nice he kill. sees me. Oh, the bow's a little hard to use in this game, as you can see. Getting him. Oh, he's chasing me. Oh. Oh. He's about to kill me. Pretty hard game, as you can see from Major here. Damn, we'll man. So I got a reward. See, if you win, or if you die, the you get rewards. I'm like pretty bad this game, as you can see, because I haven't played it much. But... That guy killed me, but... Because he's probably, he's more, he's way more experienced than I am at this game. But I'll play one more game. Like I said, I already said that last time, but... I'll play another game, see if I can get far this time kind of bad at it as you can see but if you guys want to see more of this gameplay just let me know and I will definitely play more but it's a really fun game if you have not played it I'd say get it, it does not take much of a computer to run the game so it comes to that here we go I'm being transported to the two as soon as we get out excuse me as soon as we get out I'm gonna go straight off to this game See if we got anybody around us first. I want to make sure nobody within our area. We gotta go this way though, so it's kind of bad. Bad start, uh, but it's okay. We're gonna see what happens. I hear, I hear a town. That little noise right there is actually the funk machine. Ooh, I heard a bomb go off. It's never good, especially in the beginning of a game. See, perks can actually lead people to winning. Oh, let's see what we can craft here. I don't want that. I want to make a one of those knives again, but I gotta get two rocks. Actually, I'm gonna pick that rock up. What's this make again? Oh, bandage. Actually, I'm gonna make a bandage. It's probably a good idea. I start crafting band-aids. Don't know how you get a band-aid from that, but whatever. <laughs> get a band-aid from bashing two sticks together. That's nasty. That happens in real life. I right, got myself a little knife here. Start off with. I can make myself a spear. Got no more funk now, so I'm gonna have to head over. So how the funk machine works is what you do is you stick an item in it, and it transfers into into funk. Depending on how rare the item is too, well you'll get more funk. But so you don't have to use it, but I usually use it for the useless things that I find. Because it's always good to have funk. But you can call in an airdrop. Like this is an airdrop, but I need 125 funk. And that's what that airdrop is, that layout that I had for the airdrop, which was the bow. Somebody the just bow. killed an opponent with a knife. Craft myself a bow. Um, can't. Gotta get more funk. All out. See, that's the status. Um, they'll show up whenever <laughs> someone dies right there when I'm stabbing. They'll show when someone dies. They'll show their face and I'll say someone was killed. And you'll also hear them scream throughout the map, so it's kinda cool. Here's the um, An enemy is uh, dead. I hear somebody. Best kill! 
Let's see what happens. Let's see what he's at exactly. Really close. Really close. I think he's up here. That hammer, it's a hammer on the ground. Let me grab it. Got it. It's a tier one, but it does a lot of, it does a little bit more damage. Let's see, it does six to eighteen melee damage, throwable damage is a little bit. I mean it's kind of good, but spear does like five. Oh crap. It's not as good as it goes on in this game, so but... Alright, well, um... Lost all three of those matches pretty quick, but... Alright, I'm gonna... Say, um... Close this video off here. Um... Thanks for watching. If you could, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button and comment to me. I mean, just comment if you enjoyed this game, if you'd like to see more of this game. And, uh... See you guys later.